Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leovac, and you're just in time for a quick look at Wasted, a post-apocalyptic pub crawler. So yeah, this is uh, kind of like Fallout um, in the sense, it's kind of like a comedic version of Fallout. Uh, in which you play as a wastelander who is going into different uh, oh, underground bo uh, bomb shelters, like huge bomb shelter like complexes, in an attempt to get as drunk as humanly possible. Because that's pretty much what everyone does in the future. Except for the Society of Buzzkills, who are the main guys here. You actually see, you actually see them right here. They're the guys in the military outfits and the power armor. Who are trying to keep people from getting wasted. So, either, either get wasted or get wasted trying. Uh, there's two parts of this I kind of want to show off. One is the Courier Run, which is a little feature that's unlocked shortly after you... you successfully get your first uh, hangover, which is how you get upgrades in this game. And another is just going through the, through the game uh, currently. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a courier run. Uh, this one requires you to be online, or have like an online connection so they can check your score and everything compared with other people. Uh, this, much like with the main game, is randomly generated, but in this version anything can happen, whereas in the in the regular game there's checks and balances to make sure you know you're not going up against anything too difficult. Um, one thing I want to mention, this is this is a roguelike. Um, so yeah, you start on floor B1, you just keep going down. Uh, this is a, like, as you can tell, it's a first person shooter. It's got a really weird art style to it. Um, we do have a, hit, a hiding a sneaking system in which it deals more damage to raiders and other enemies. Uh, I gotta see what I have here. Um, now, the interesting thing about this, we have only about 10 slots to hold. You can get, you can expand that a little bit by getting uh, better, better equipment. Um, there's a fanny pack you can get that to expand your item slots. And you can wear one fanny pack, one of each type of fanny pack. There's like a side slung, there's a bum, a bum pack, and like a regular fanny pack. <coughs> and uh, part of the game is it's an inventory management because you have so you have so few slots. Ammo takes up a slot, medical items take up a slot, food items take up a slot. That's Probably not gonna last very long here. I'm... Whoa! Ah, great. We got these rolling pulleys again. I ran into these things once before in a random run. And... There we go. Okay. Um. So one of the cool things about this, I think, went down to the die pistol. Ah, uh, there we go. So one of the cool things about this game is uh, anything you have in your inventory already, it automatically loots it for you if you have space. Um, for most items, you can only hold about five uh, of each item, with the exception of ammunition where you can hold a hundred, and there are exceptions, uh, there are exceptions to that rule, uh, or there are ways to increase your storage using hangovers, and I, keep, I know I keep mentioning hangovers and I don't, and I'm just like not explaining anything. Um, probably gonna die here. I'm having such a hard time. I'm not used to using these weaker weapons. Uh, oh, one thing again. If you die in the game, you die for real. Um, like, it's, it's one of those kinds of roguelikes. So it's like, you only get one life, you only get the one life, if you die, you gotta start all over. Uh, now there are ways to kind of... Alright, there you ran out of space. Let me see if I can get some of these. Uh... There you go. It's gonna be better for me than. Oh, let me see the pants. 
Actually, the denim disaster piece is probably better than the drunk dog pants. Armor hit shoot a blit. Speed and a blit, yeah. There we go. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh, I love it when that happens. Okay, so we got a master blaster. Okay. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of different things to kind of learn about this game. Um, like, be careful about hitting, uh, hitting trip mines. Um, also, you can only have, like, one... You can only eat... You can only do so much to heal yourself up at a time. Like, med, med stems make you medicated, which means you can't use any other kind of medicine-based objects. Uh, any kind of food items, you, you become stuffed until the stuffed meter goes away and you can't eat anymore, so... If you're, like, really low in health, it's probably a good idea to get, like, something that heals a lot of health. Uh, which is a lot harder to do than it seems. Um... Oh, there we can put something in here. So, one of the points of the, uh... But the courier run here is you want to get some really awesome item and then put it in the uh, in the courier box. You can only put one in. Normally in the main game you can put about six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the master blaster in there because I don't really have much of a choice. That's the best weapon there. Um, best weapon. That's the best item we have right now. Um, actually, hold on. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll, can always go back. Assuming I don't die. <laughs> Hit them with a grenade. Okay. And you got another we got another one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um So yeah. Uh, along the cur along the runs we'll run into these uh little flasks that are unmarked. We can drink them for random buzz. A buzz is like a hangover, except it's not permanent. Uh, and if it sounds like I'm being really weird, kind of being really random, they kind of explain this stuff as you go along as well. Uh, buzzes and hangovers, you can have negative, you can have positive versions. Uh, hangovers, like I said, are, are permanent. Buzzes only last until you, until you leave the, uh, until you leave the cooler that you're currently in. Um, in the courier run, that's pretty much until you die, because you don't, it just keeps randomly generating new, new floors. Um, there you go. Ooh, junk food. There we go. So, junk food's unique, and I think it's the only health item that gives you, uh, a food coma ability. In which you kind of you slow your movement down for about ten seconds. <coughs> so yeah, uh, you might be noticing there's a timer in the corner. I forgot to mention that. Uh, you see the guy in the power armor on this picture here? He comes in and starts wrecking up the place if you run out of time. Uh, he starts hunting you down. It's not good. It's not good. He's got like a whopping six hundred health. Uh, and if you do manage to beat him, which the only way I've been able to do so is by cheating them on the first few floors. Um, there you go, that's... Okay, I want to put... Let's see, point nine are up and get the doozy. Yeah. They are, yeah, I'm not kidding when I say they have, these games have like really punny names. There's poop humor. Like seriously, there's like... Alcohol humor, like a lot of the humor is very low brow, um, or like just something kind of just to poke fun at, at Fallout. For example, if you look at our shots here, is our stat system. It's shots. Get it? And then take, and then take a shot. Uh, you got shoot, hit, a blitz, tinker, and sneak, and sneak. Uh, you can't, in, you cannot increase these, to my knowledge, except uh, through uh, temporary effects. And there we go. Found ya. 
Dude, temporary attack for through finding a certain hangar. Uh, sorry, sorry, I kind of blacked out there for a, for a split second. Ooh, the ale, oh, dang it. Okay, I got a reason to stay alive for the next one. Really? Let me put that up then. Put that up. There we go. Okay. I, got, I had this in another run, another courier run. This is a really good weapon. Uh, if I can, if I can survive till the next, uh, the next courier point. Which actually, there's. Gotta tell my phone to stop. Green, stop my alarm. Uh, there, I know we're on the third floor, so there's gonna be one at the end, regardless. So you just have to make it to the end of this floor. Oh crap! Get away from me! Get away from me! That's a Mutomut Mutomut mom. They spawn those little puppy things that they hit you. Oh, it's annoying. It's frustrating to deal with those. Um. Just trying to survive. There we go. Uh, one thing I would suggest, if you can, uh, always have like a melee weapon on hand uh, for your first few runs. Uh, right now, it's not really possible for me to do that because I'm on such low ammunition. Ow, that hurt. Also, avoid radiation pools. Uh, red doors like these are locked, like being locked doors. If you're just trying to get to the end, don't worry about the ro about the locked doors. Let's um, normally you can, you can open them with some can opener that you see in the corner right above our uh, score, right below our score and our TP, which stands for toilet paper, by the way. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of poop humor. Um, ooh! Wow, that's good. We got some good buzzes. We normally don't get that many good buzzes. Um... Don't, uh, doesn't show us our buzzes, it only shows hangovers. Uh, like I said, buzzes are a temporary effect, hangovers are permanent. Um, except in the case of courier runs where they're all technically buzzes. Uh, try to avoid that, that, uh... Oh, crud. We're gonna have to... But this is, I hope this is not the wrong way. Okay, I think we're at the end here. Yes, okay. So here at the end of each third floor, we have an opportunity to drop that and I'm gonna put the alienator in there. We have an opportunity to get one of these uh, drinks called booze. B-O-O-Z-E. Which I think is actually how you spell it regularly. Each one has a different effect. Now in the main game, what this will do is this will end your run. Uh, your current run. And take you back home and then you can like kind of sell stuff and do all kind of things. As you notice, there's some that have positive, some that have negative effects. Uh, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. In the courier run here, this takes us to the next floor. Because the point of the courier run is to get as deep and as far as you can in these randomly generated uh, areas. Uh, whereas in the main game, it's to get to the 10th floor of each randomly generated area. Yeah, they're all randomly, yeah, everything's randomly generated in this game. Well, the coolers are, anyway. Uh, yeah. Also, you may notice there's a big 80s, real big 80s vibe to this game. Uh, that's because in this game, the apocalypse started around the 1980s, and as opposed to the 50s, which is Fallout's version. Um... We can pretty much die at this point. I'll be okay because we've got the alienator. Um, may have to do a little bit of work. Pre Cause I, after this, I can show you like, what an actual game is. Uh, so, right here. One thing we can do. If we don't want to waste a can opener opening one of these doors, we can try to punch it. And hopefully we have enough strength to... There we go. Kill 
There we go. Okay. Whew. And we are. Oh, we are not. You're not gonna survive much longer. Almost like every single time I've died in this, it's always been from the same thing. It's always been. It's always been the same way. <coughs> it's always been like the same way, which is usually like something comes up from behind and kills me. Uh, just taken by surprise. Or, you know, I get a buzz that's negative, like I get like what's called a half-life brew, which decreases your health by half. Ooh, that's nice. Um And that just basically ends my run there as well. Rolling! Yeah, run away, run away, run away, run away! Get away from me! Get away! Ah. Ah. Think we escaped just in time. <laughs> I think this is the farthest I've ever made in a courier run. Woo! And you got the Pepe Love debuff, um, which is usually the usually you have a little puppy on you, and it, you have a little one of those little puppies on you, and you're taking damage. Um, but I managed to, I guess, glitch it out a little bit. Let's see, there we go. Um, now, I don't know, but I think, I don't know about the curry run, but every seventh floor in the main game, you have an administrator's office, which is like a little place to rest. I don't think... That you had that. Oh, we got a uh, Roddy person, a Roddy man. Uh, oh, the scoped full bucker. Those are actually pretty good. Let's see. Hmm. But. There we go. Might be a good idea to get these instead of a pistol. So one of the interesting things about the Roddy Man Roddy Man creatures is that they explode in these pools of radiation once you kill them. And as you may have guessed, radiation is bad for you. you it deals damage to you. Um, are you serious? We're supposed to stop. Um, we're about to get our. Uh, we're going to about to get a SOB on our tail. Uh, by the way, it took me a while to realize uh, realize something about the SOBs because, like I mentioned, like I've been mentioning before, this is a parody of uh, of Fallout. So, what's SOB backwards? BOS or Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, the SOB in this game, uh, see, so I said, well, the Society of Buzzkills. I always have trouble remembering their name because it's just like, it's not, it, to, me, it, to me, it's just not clever enough. Oh, really? Moving in. Um, you got some more SOB there. Like I said, the one, the one, the armor that you saw in the in the loading screen, and the, and like one one interesting thing about the SOB is that you can kind of just trick them out you can cut, because they use the same they use the same AI as everyone else. They just kind of hunt you down, um, and you die. <laughs> so that was a death. Now normally we'd restart and play as a new character, any hangovers we had would be gone, and anything that was on us at the time of our death would be gone as well. Um, but because this is a courier run, that's not really important. What is important was that little, was that gun that we stashed in our cur in that courier box, because when we go to load in our main game. That item is going to be in our inventory somewhere. I think I think it's yeah, added to our stash at home. So we're gonna 
leave where I'd previously saved. Uh, by the way, this is what I currently look like. Uh, this is what the SOBs look like normally in the arm, the power armor, power armor SOBs. Um, the reason I look like this, and like I said, the reason I got this armor was because I managed to cheese the SOB quite a few times actually, and I think my audio's messed up now. Um, Yeah, because I cannot hear anything on my audio. <laughs> um, because I should be hearing music in the back. In the, I should be hearing music because I have a, a disc man on. I think I think it's called disc disc mans. Let me check my inventory. Disc disc joy. It's that you listen to the radio regardless of where you're at. Um, yeah. Uh, that's. Not good. Let me return here real quick. Hold up. Oh. Okay, that's a little embarrassing. So my I accidentally somehow turned down my headphone volume, and I think that's what's um Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh so yeah. Uh I believe our stash is right over in here. You're gonna you're gonna see all the stuff I've managed to save. <laughs> so I have a few I have a bunch of duplicates of other of various different things. Some fanny packs, bum bags, side slung, phaseroids, little little minis, which are what you get off which you can get off of the uh, the Brotherhood. Uh, or st sorry, uh, S O B R uh, purifiers. Um, yeah. So I have like a bunch of this stuff just in case I die on this character, which hopefully won't happen because I have a lot of hangovers. <laughs> now I've been talking about this game like like you should know what I'm talking about here, but let me go ahead and explain hangovers a little bit more. I explained it during the courier run, but at the end of it, at the on the third floor on every three floors, uh, you have those, your option of hangovers, like you saw in the main game, like you saw in the courier run, and whenever you take a hangover, you wind up back in your home, uh, somehow, they, they, even the game doesn't know how, everything you have on your, on hand, all your TP, anything that, you know, you survived with, and you can deposit your TP into your bank here, so if you die, you have some money, um, you can put anything that you have in here, put up, um, and just kind of get yourself ready for your next run. Um, like I said, I worked really hard to keep this guy, this current character, alive. Um, like very much, uh, very much worked very hard. You can also craft some stuff if you have the right ingredients, um, which we don't have anything to craft right now because I've already crafted everything. So that said, uh, there's a few other places we can go before we head out. And was it 10:03? I can actually let me see. You know, I'm gonna do that real quick. I need. I want to do that real quick. So let me go ahead and get some TP. Uh, like I said, a TP stands for toilet paper. It's the currency of the game. Um, I'm gonna try to get. No, that should be enough. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you what a cop, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to show you the the gin and gout, uh, which is where you can get a temporary, uh, you can get a temporary, or excuse me, you can get a buzz and a few and like a temporary status buff. Um, I can I can I can at least talk to the guy and he can explain it for you. Uh, but there's two types of alcohol that they serve they serve with the gin and gout. There's uh champagne and tough tequila. Champagne gives you a, a strength boost, tough tequila gives you a uh a defense boost. Um then you kinda like mix it with like a mixer or a soda kinda like give you some added kind of customizable bonuses and you can like 
choose how it's mixed, and that gives you a boost in one of your stats. Um, right here we have, before you do that, we have the mall, uh, which is your place you can buy stuff. So we can uh, buy, let's say I'm going to buy the med stem here, two med stems, so we go in with at least some healing items, solid bread and med stem. Like, thanks. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is a valley girl. Yeah, like I said, this game is very 80s. Um, we have Mayday here. Jin and Gout. We got the swills that kill, and they have too. Three <laughs> sheets to wet your whistle. So what can I get you? So we've we've already gotten a drink, so we can't get another one. We can go ahead and ask what the mixer Here of the day is. Today. The mixer is a random buzz, so it's po it's gonna be either a positive or negative ability. Uh, you so can mix that with your drink, and you'll lose. Oh, there looks like you're still glowing from the last. Yeah. Um, so what, so when you, uh, I'm trying to think how I want to do, I guess I, guess I can do, uh, I can do a normal run and then show it afterwards, hopefully. Cause usually what I'll do is I'll get, I'll do my run, do, I'll do, I'll do the run and I'll do all my rounds, do my basic stuff, get everything prepped for the next, uh, for the next thing. Um, I just want to make sure I got everything ready here, I think I'm about as ready as I can be. Okay. We're gonna go in and start our run on cooler CA2. Um, yeah, these are called coolers. They're they're not called vaults. They're not called bomb shelter shelters. And as you may have guessed, much like in the Fallout style, these things didn't turn out to be as safe as they thought they were. In Fallout, it was due to everything being a government experiment. In this game, it's actually a bit different. Um, cause this game is, like I said, it's very 80s. Which means there's a lot of 80s aesthetic, including the corporate side of business. Meaning that due to a lot of corporate espionage, and just kind of building things as cheaply as possible because, again, corporate, that's why the uh, that's why the cooler has failed because well you know and that's why I have the the leather cooler armor so I can unload these traps. Uh, these gun traps here can do some massive damage both to you and the enemies. I've seen like especially if you know how to trick the AI the AI out because the AI is not that smart. The AI, AI is not is not intelligent at all. Um, as you can tell from how uh, we've been. Oop. What the flip? Well, okay. Now here I was insulting the AI, and yet I'm. got hit by a. Uh, missed a. didn't hear it. I did not hear it go off. Okay, so we're just gonna open that door by mistake. I'm into. If you know what I'm gonna do? So yeah, there we go. Um, anyone you kill, you or any, anyone that dies, you'll automatically get, uh, gain their TP when you get close enough to them. Um, always open these paper dispensers because they always have TP in them. Um, for the longest time, I avoided them because I didn't, I never saw anything in them. Um, I'm very glad I opened, I uh, used one of the lockpicks there. So you, so you may have noticed right there, the lock, the lockpick did not completely open that door, but it did decrease it. Uh, if your tinker is high enough, you can unlock just about anything, but the, oh, we just went around in a circle. Great. Gonna jump over that bear trap. I think I have a hangover that lets me, uh, Spike? Nope. No. As you can just kind of see from my, uh, all the moves here, I have a lot of really good stuff. Like, I'm really good right now with, uh, with how this game, like, this game is handled. Um, you're not going to be like this when you first start off. You're probably going to die quite a bit. And even then, like, I can still die if I'm not careful. Like, I've, 
Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've cheat I've uh, cheated my way to to safety because the game does not save while you're in um while you're in the floor, except at the administrator's office. So if you die, you can just hit you can just hit Alt F four as you die and you'll just go back to the last place your game actually saved. Which is the last place you saw the little save icon. Or wherever you manually save it. Oh. Uh, one thing you're going to see me not do in this run is I'm not going to take any buzzes. Because 9 times out of 10, these unmarked flasks are bad. Like, I have never, like, what you saw in that cooler run was complete and total luck. I never, I mean, I never get that many good. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm doing some heavy breathing right now. I'm kind of su suffering some sudden uh, acid reflux here in my throat. There we go. Uh, oh! Well, that explains a lot, actually. I want to say about these floor droids. Uh, nine times out of ten, you will not be able to find their heads. Um, I don't know why, but their heads just kind of vanish. You can still, if you're lucky enough, you can you can find them, but they're usually. Um, should I? No, I usually spot, I usually sell a phaser right after each after each run. Whoa! Stay away from the rotting man. There we go. Um, one thing I want to mention too: your accuracy in this game is. Terrible, like long range like that, like what you just saw me do there. That was taking a huge chance. Like I was like 50-50 on whether or not I was gonna miss that shot. Um, I'm gonna probably switch to my greaser here. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm gonna switch out the phaser right. Um, sometimes it's better to switch out whatever your current weapon is for another weapon, the same weapon, that, but like, you know, more ammo. Uh, saves, up on, saves you up on ammo, because like I said, you can only hold 100 ammo normally. Um, that's like I said, unless you have the proper hangovers, because I have the I have a few hangovers that let me hold more uh, more pistol ammo, and then there's the one I think I have one that lets me hold more rifle ammo. I think is what I, there's another one I have. Um, also, check every computer because whenever you see something that says attachment on it. All those days shooting potatoes out of a potato cannon finally paid off, except swap out the pipe for a shotgun and the potato for a grenade. It boom. You got a chick chick boom. So now whenever we get back home, we will be able to make a chick chick boom gun. Okay. So we're going to be heading on to the third floor, which is probably going to be the end of this run. Um, as you can tell right now, as of the game, I only have two coolers. I think there's five total in the game. I've only got two coolers active. Um, one of which I've already completed. And in this one, I, I've only gotten to floor three. Uh, basically my method of getting really good at the game is, um, 
get to your fur get to the get to the next get to like four three four six four nine um, whichever one's the most relevant for me and get a positive buzz or bo positive hangover excuse me get a positive hangover um, and just keep doing that. Just keep going down until you can't, until you, you get no more options. And you, then you make your next trek down. It's not the okay. I was about to say this is not the end yet. Um, oops. Need something didn't look right there. Oh, we got a stealing droid. What the? Oh, I stepped into the bear trap. They're right there, you notice I fired, I fired three shots. I couldn't have been any more active, any more dead on the thing and still missed. Even at close range like this, you can still miss. Like, even at a very close range, you can still miss your shots. I'm gonna put that in. Um, i trying to think what else do I want to put in. Hmm. Phasoroid probably. Power packs. Uh, buck shots, I'm not using those. And uh, I think that's everything. I want to keep everything else for now. Um, so yeah, even the uh, the courier boxes here are randomly placed. Uh, so yeah, with the normal game, courier box you can store six items. Uh, and Whenever you get home, you can check it and get your items out and put and just store what you want. And Did that kill it? Yeah, I think it killed it. It killed itself. Oh, because I was trying to hit this guy. Um, I'm gonna get that LCS. I've been trying to get that pistol. I've been trying to get that revolver since I started this this run. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. I got so little, I got so little revolver ammo anyway. Um, I think that I think I might only have like a hundred revolver ammo, which isn't a whole lot compared to all the other all the other ones I have. Like all the other gun, all the other ammo I have like at least three hundred plus because I've used them. I've never, I don't really use the revolvers a whole lot. The revolvers are hard to or hard to get in Cooler One. Um, so is uh, so are, so are power, so are uh, energy weapons like power, like stuff that use the power pack. Storing that. I'm not gonna go back all that way for that now. Um, by the way, get used to this '80s music that you're hearing. <laughs> like even without the headphones on, you're still gonna hear them. And by the way, interesting thing about the head, about the, uh, let me go up here, about the disc joy, uh, it, when you have it equipped, it doesn't take up a slot. It gives you plus one carry limit, but it still counts as one, so it, does, it technically doesn't take up a slot. Uh, bone bag, fanny pack, side slungs, they all take up a slot, but you get plus three, so you technically only get two extra slots. Um, so yeah. Each, so, but yeah, every little bit counts, you know. I kind of wish that they didn't take up a slot. Because then, you know, we'd have th I'd have three more slots. Like, this, like the destroy, I understand. I kind of get that, you know, haha, haha, -ha, it doesn't take up a slot because, you know, you have it on your side, like an actual Walkman. Um, whoa! By the way, this is one of the methods that you can use to fight the SOB purifiers. Um, because they use a chain gun as well, you can kind of like... They do that same thing where like they'll just unleash all their bullets at once. And so if you hide yourself from them, then you can just kind of go in and take some hot shots here. Okay. So... Obviously, you can probably you can probably uh, guess that 
the reason I'm switching over to leather cooler armor is because I can't unload these normally. Um, no, I could, but you know, I don't. I don't really feel like being the target. Like, let me show you right here. Tinkering score is not high enough. Leather cooler armor gives me plus six tinker, which gives me that ability to basically hold all the ammo. And because I have a lot of boosts that give me, uh, let me hold extra ammo. Welcome to the. I right. oh. Soul guard. Okay. Uh, oh, I've already got five of those. Okay. I'm going to get that suppressor mod. Uh, the way you use mods is whatever weapon you currently have, you just right click it and it will apply it. Uh, if, it's ap if it's applicable. Like, I don't think you can use suppressors on shotguns. Um. For example, you can't do that. Uh, hmm. Could put a suppressor on that. Actually, they have a few full buckers at home. Yeah, I think I have a few of those at home. I can use a suppressor on that. Should be using the katana, the katana on. Should be using the katana on these guys. And yes, get it? Katana? Yeah, again, very punny names. I cannot stress this enough. It's a very punny game. Um, here we are at the end of our first real run. Like I said, I'm probably only going to go this far and no further, depending on whether or not I can. I can't get any more of those, can't get any more of that. Attacks in the air deal 50% more damage. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let me see if I got everything. Getting that. Uh, as you can tell, I don't suffer food. Uh, I don't suffer the negative effects of food comas anymore. That's due to a hangover. Um, so yeah, who knew? Who knew? Drinking heavily. Is, can actually be beneficial for your health. <laughs> Drinking radioactive alcohol. Uh, this is this, again. It's one of those kind of one of those kind of silly games. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. And I guess we'll go ahead and. Ooh. So pooping pills here are actually very useful uh, when you don't want to. And you don't have any of the the hangover that cure that uh, ignored the food coma penalty uh, because this reduces the effect of the food coma by I think 50 percent. Yeah. Uh, so if we take this now, we will not be able to progress any further. Um, which we can go right there to progress. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these and end my run because, like I said, I really don't want to die. Um, and I just want to kind of keep getting better and better. And once I get, once I get to the point where I can't get any more positive hangovers, then I go down to the next floor. Um, they even mention it in the game, like... Further down, you get better and better effects further as you travel uh, further and further down the coolers. Um, let's see here. Put that up. Put that up. Put all that up. We're going to have to... Okay. Actually, let me... Ah, dang it. And you've got to cycle all over again. Ah! There we go, okay. Actually, I wonder, can I do that? Gonna equip that. Nope. Okay. 
so I think we can do this personal clash. It was basically a AK-47. Um, doing over. Actually, no, I got this lubed one, this lubed full bucker. Let me go ahead and put the silencer on that too. There we go. So now I think all I need for that is this is the scope, and we're good. Um. There we go. Okay. So now we got that done. Let's go ahead and turn around because I think I still need to put stuff away before I go into the mailbox and grab stuff. So yeah, this is going to be probably the boring part of the game. This is like the in-between where I'm just kind of uh, putting stuff up and going to be mo mainly just kind of getting prepared for the next run. Um, like I said, I didn't... I, I, I tend to over prepare. Like, there you go. I tend to over prepare to so have an overabundance of stuff. So I'm like, I'm pretty much prepared for life at this point. Um, let's see. We can make some junk food. We can make solid. Br oh, I always, I always do that. Press the there you go. Mute my steak junk food, and I don't know why you don't want to make child, I got the, I downloaded this blueprint, or this attachment for the child sir, and I don't know why it's worth it, I guess, I guess, I guess you get the plus 10 hit, that means you have like, you're maxed out on your, on your physical attack, but you can't move, so it's like, it doesn't really work. Anyway, so the attachment guys for over here. Got Huh. Chick chick. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. Uh, I love that. Okay, so you get a, you get a grenade launcher. Out of stuffing potatoes into a shotgun with some grenades. Okay, that's interesting. What do I have in terms of... Oh, I can actually make it. So let me go ahead and equip. Now, normally... Normally, uh... There we go. Oh, you need five. Okay, never mind. Okay. So go ahead and put those up, that up, and those up. And we'll hopefully get some taters for the next run. So that way we can just go ahead and they're in there, so we can just put them in there for the next time. Um, yeah, so... Now that we got that part done, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready for the next run, which we'll need to get. Oh, oh this is the way you could back trip, back pedal. So I need to draw that up. Get rifle ammo. I'm gonna. I usually go in with about 50 am 50 rifle, 100 pistol because I can hold a maximum of 300. go and I might also add a full I might also add a full round of a full uh, clip too so uh, yeah I'm not gonna worry about that I'm off by what four um, it's not gonna matter too much pistols pistol ammo is the most common ammo in the game um, Time to 11 p.m. Okay, I actually need a rest. Because in order for me to go to... Um, in order for me to access the mall, we need to actually rest. So I think... Nine hours? 
I think it opens at eight. Um, yep, there you go. And let's head on out and go to the Oni Express. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Find it funny in this game, you have a car. Most pop. Oh, okay, it's no Mad Max. Mad Max. Yeah, it was a was a big emphasis on cars. That's also weird too, because that's like, wasn't there supposed to be like a gasoline shortage? Wasn't that what caused the whole end of the world in Mad Max? It kind of makes you wonder where they're getting all this gas for. Like hey, like this is totally. Okay, so we're gonna sell the phaseroid. Buy the med stems. Um, I used to not buy med stems, by the way. <laughs> like, um, cause like when you're in your first cooler, you get med stems all over the place. So we'll go and give them the three. Oh, I didn't check what the mixer was. Okay. So if you have a straight, you'll get the full effect of whatever, of the champagne or the tequila. If you have some soda, uh, it's split two to three. So I think it's a uh, 15% for the straight, 10%, 5% for the soda. 5% being the other one. Good so far. Um, How do you want that prepared? And then each of these is a different uh, status of boost. So as a shot, you'll increase your hit on the rocks, increase the obliterate, which is your uh, explosive damage. Stirred, I think, your tinker blended, I blended and shaken. I don't, I don't know. And Campbell style gives you one point in each. Um, each of these gives you two points, by the way. I'm just gonna right. shot. Here you go. Let me take a drink. We got shoot up, weak attack up, and defense up. So we can see right here, we got two shoot up in addition to what our current stats were. Um, and we don't get to see what our cocktail is. That's kind of the one problem I have. Um, hold on. Caps lock. Or there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, you got a cocktail of the gin and gout. So there's our hangovers. And then the other bonuses that we have, which. Yeah. And so we're ready for our next run. Uh, which I'll be doing on my own from here on out, I suppose, because. I already showed you one because I was already prepared ahead of time. Uh, now, normally, what I'll do, what I used to do, is I would go back and deposit all my extra TP. Uh, I'm at this point where I really don't feel like I need to. You have over, you know, ten thousand TP, and really the only thing you're ever going to use it for is for the gin and gout. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I should I can spend I can spend the rest of the time showing off the Oni Express terminal. Uh, there's not a whole lot to really show off. There's a lot, there's like a few. Like I said, there's a few things. You got the gin and gal. You got the the mall, and then you got the actual Oni Express itself, where you have the lost and found. Um, any any purple item that you find in the game, if you die while that purple item is in your possession. You can go to the Oni Express terminal and buy it back. Usually for about a thousand TP. It's it's a uh, it's a bit annoying, uh, but you know it's you, it's how you get unique weapons back, unique items back. Um, you have a problem? So yeah, let's see. Show me the lost and found. Uh, this is stuff that I sold to them so I could get my money back. Uh, for a while, I was not using junk food or medicine because I'd get them all over the place. Um, right here, you see another courier box. Uh, again, if you haven't gotten anything from your home or if you, d if you just came here first to begin with, 
Uh, you can just grab your grab your stuff from here. Any of these you find, you will have all your stuff in them. Um, it's a real dog eat dog world out there, so I prefer to stay inside. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that guy. Um, Gnarly weather we're having. We have Dick here. This is a problem. And share. Kissinger. This is a problem have. Or in this case, reduced by two thirds. So what's on your mind? If it's something big, don't tell us, since technically we'll be taking on the majority of the problem. I'm retired, you inconsiderate brat. Hmm. <laughs> um. Let's see, what's the A2? Oh, you did? Well, well, that's certainly food for thought. I hope you destroyed it. My complexion, you see. I burn easily in this desert sun. I've not, ta I've not seen any of this stuff yet, but I wish we could call the A2. Becoming red would be unseemly. Yeah, and that is exactly what you think it is. Well, first of all, <laughs> on if his you've crotch. got a good radiation suit and a solid pair of walking boots, by all means, be my guest. Try to make it all the way to Vegas. But for my TP, the real lucky city is Sandy Crapshaw. Okay. Some men are foolhardy and attempt this journey. Of course, the vultures eat well. I hear rumors <coughs> about this place, but it sounds fanciful to me. The kids these days, this environment, living in the days of plenty and the lap of luxury, makes you soft, spoiled, weak-willed, prone to making up these stories of mechanical men, laser guns, <laughs> and this and that. To my mind, such stories are unambiguously the domain of children. Damn right. Well, besides yeah, the, 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 the minds disinclined to engage really in the real distracting. world, I hear this cool is a dangerous place. More so than usual. Tread carefully. You're late to the party. You know, when the youths get their hands on a place, they guard it fiercely with the boot. We must also speak of the interlopers. Yes. I've no great affection for them. But they have a heritage. They don't live like a bunch of dogs like some. You have to give them that. I think they're talking Should about the SOBs. Some fellows wearing colorful masks. Well, huh. make sure you have a bit Oh, no, those are the, those are the service they may be a bunch of thieves, but the bastards are good. And they're not scared of anything. Uh... Okay, we're not going to worry about anything else for now. Um, yeah, one of the things I read in the t in the loading tips was, um, was about how the servicemen, the higher-up servicemen have, a uh, luch luchador masks on, because their theme for the, for the servicemen's theme is that they're, uh, Hispanic? They're Mexicans? Uh, I guess? Um... So I guess, I guess each cooler has their own themes, because the first theme was just kind of typical Raiders. Kind of like the typical Raider, what you would see, so this Raider one is like, going to go a little more kind of, you know, uh, I guess racy. Um, but yeah, so that's about all we really had to show off there in the Oni Express. So... With all that said, we're going to go back up here, and I think that's everything. Um, you can always practice the courier run. Um, let's check out the options here. You got the input you know, for your joypad, uh, key bindings. Let's see, I don't see any. Uh, oh, there's FOV. Why did it set to 50? Let's see what this looks like. I don't think it changed on here. Let's see what it looks like when you load the game up. Uh, one thing I also want to mention, one thing is, something that was really surprising me with this game is it's 500 megabytes. 
Now that that looks a little bit weirder. Let's see. Can we, uh... I mean, it, it just may be something I need to get used to, too. Um, I've probably never... Not able to... There, oh, there we go. Jeez, why was I, miss, why was I missing it so much? Yes. I think, what, F of is usually at 90 for default. It's a little better. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, um... The last thing... I'm trying to think of anything else we want to mention here. Um... No, I think that's it, so... Uh... Guess with that said, I'll see you guys... Later.